Would you believe that zombies are actually real and exist today? Well, they do. Let us show you the truth about the zombie apocalypse that no one is talking about and see how we are only four steps away from turning into the walking dead. Could this zombie phenomenon affect you and your family? Let's see. In the hidden tropical forests of the world lives a microscopic spore with a deadly mission. It's called Opiocordyceps unilateralis, which may be hard to pronounce, but we need to be aware of this. And now, there is new information you may not know. This fungus was originally discovered in 1859 by a British man named Alfred Wallace. But since its discovery, the fungus has been binding, infecting, and then killing millions of hosts, which is concerning. It forces the host to do whatever it desires until it finally kills them and spreads to look for more hosts. Up until now, the hosts it has targeted are primarily ants from the Componotini tribe and include the common carpenter ant. But what it does to this ant is shocking. The fungus turns the ant into a real-life zombie with no control over its body or brain. Then, the host is forced to leave their canopy nests and go to the floor of the jungle. This is where the temperature and humidity are absolutely perfect for this monster to grow into a beast. But what it does next will blow your mind and wait for the four last things we have before it can attack us humans. The fungus then takes control of the ant's mandibles and makes them attach themselves to a major vein on a leaf. So it's high above the forest floor. The ant stays here and is eventually killed by the fungus in four to 10 days. Even after death, the infected corpse still stays attached to the leaf. And there is a terrifying reason for this. While on this leaf, the fungus does something unbelievable. It breaks out through the head of the ant in a gruesome display, creating a long wiry pole coming out on the top of the ant. From this new limb, the fungus releases spores to the forest to spread itself to other hosts. But how is this possible? The fungus's ability to control the host's mind is scary, but 100% real. It infiltrates the ant's muscles and nervous system using enzymes and mechanical pressure, breaking down any immune system response or resistance the ant could have had. But are humans really next? Imagine a chilling possibility that this fungus evolves and begins to infect humans. To do so, four specific things would have to happen. First, the fungus would need to adapt to human cells and tissues. Even though ant cells are different than humans in their structure and function, adaptations to different cells have been seen in many species around the world. So the possibility is definitely there. Next, the fungus would need to evolve strategies to invade or suppress the human immune response. Although not impossible, this would be difficult considering the extreme complexities of the human body. But as you can see, by the vast arrays of different sicknesses people already suffer from, it is possible. Third, for the fungus to spread fast, it would need to develop a way to become airborne. As of now, its hosts must be close to it to be able to spread from the spores pouring out of the infected hosts. But even not being airborne, it could still spread widely as we have seen with many other diseases. Lastly, the fungus is currently fine-tuned for ants' nervous system and behaviors. So it would have to learn and fine-tune itself to humans. But once again, this is absolutely possible. All of this could theoretically happen. Maybe not probable in the near future, but possible nonetheless. Especially considering the fact that there are already 15 different species of this fungus that have been identified so far. So here's the question for you. Are you worried? Do you think this is something that could happen in the future? Will we become like that game and show, The Last of Us? Which was based on this fungus idea? You need to tell me in the comments. And wait, click this video right here. That tells three real stories of how pets saved their entire families from certain death.